Hi guys, welcome back. So today, as the name of this video suggests, I'm basically doing a haul of my Colourpop collection. Now, I've only got a fraction of the whole entire Colourpop collection and I do snap it as and when I do get a few things from Colourpop or any other cosmetic companies or beauty companies. Um, and there's a few people who were asking me quite a bit actually to redo my Colourpop haul and to show you guys with swatches all of my Colourpop collection because one, it's very, very affordable and it's very reasonably priced and the colour payoff from not only the eyeshadows but the liquid lipsticks, the um, the creaminess of the um, lippy sticks is just amazing. Like the, the formula of all of their work, all of all of their products, it's so good and for the price you pay, it's amazing. I definitely recommend it to everyone. So if you want to see my collection or my Colourpop haul, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with eye pencils first, and I've only got three, which are these ones here. This one is Get Paid, this one is Swerve, and this one is Call Me. So I'll do swatches of these and show you. So this one is Call Me, which is a brown colour, and it's so creamy and glides on so nicely. Guys, please ignore the other swatches. I've been doing a declutter with me session as well, which will be going up pretty soon, if not before this video um, so some of the stains haven't actually come off no matter how many times I'm watching is just staying off so that is call me now I'm going to swerve which is the black one it's just so creamy just like the tiniest like that's the lightest pressure that I'm applying and look how strong the color payoff is so it's really good and then this one, which I really like, and I use it mainly for the inner corners of the eyes, is Get Paid. It's just so creamy. So nice. So, yeah, those three are my um, eye pencils that I've got. Then, moving on to lip pencils, again, I've only got three because... I have so many lip pencils but I just got a few so I can try them out and I do like these um, so when I've finished the ones that I've got I will try and go for more of the Colourpop ones because again the creaminess and the texture is so good but the three I've got are Dopey, Lumiere and Lion King so I'll swap, sh swap, sh swap them now for you so this one is Lumiere so creamy I really like this and you can wear this just as a lip product like you don't need to put any other thing on top like liney lips and just fill it in and it's you're good to go um, then we have dopey Ooh. similar color but slightly more brighter pink kind of I feel and then we have Lion King which is a lot brighter or darker I should say but with that bright sort of uh, color payoff and these all three of these are so creamy then I'm gonna be moving on to my eyeshadows because I know the liquid lipsticks stain really badly and some of them are what I've got on my hands already as well so if I do the eyes first um, and then move on to the um, liquid lipsticks I think that will work out better but this one here is acorn let me just take it out the thing which is a, a sort of like a satin finish color and it's a good all-rounder sort of base color especially if you're fairer toned or a nice highlight color so that is acorn then we have catnap which is this color here and this is one of my newer shadows that I've got that's catnap there really nice pinky toned glittery eyeshadow gorgeous this one is so quiche so the base actual shadow color is like an olive green khaki type color but it's got pinky purple glitter bits in there really nice we then have millionaire which is gorgeous just gonna swatch that there 
a nice coppery colour with gold flecks of glitter in it. So, so good. And these are so creamy. I prefer using these um, Colourpop shadows with my fingers because I think the payoff of it is so good. So I just literally pop the um, colour on my finger, press it onto the area where I want it and just literally glide it across and it works so good. We then have Hammered which is a deep nice olive colour with greeny flecks of glitter. look how nice that is just with one swatch it comes out so pigmented then it's game face which is another sort of rusty coppery type color which is there I'll just do another swatch on top then it's Lala doesn't show up as much on my hands but on my eyes especially if it's had like a um, nice primer on it it comes out really nicely we then have sequin which is like this it's got a nice silver flecks of glitter in it as well so you can tell I love this sort of colour combo these shades are so nice because they're pretty neutral you can wear them with pretty much um, anything unless you've got like a lot of silver work going on then I don't think maybe that one can work but the other two I don't think would work as much then it's far side which is one of the newer shadows that I've got from them again really nice sort of rusty colour with olive green and it's got like silver flecks and gold flecks really really nice colour um, something different I would say then we have two more this one is called Amaze and it is amazing this is my second um, shadow that I've owned and I'm already hit pan so you can tell how much I love it um, let's do it here so that is what the shade looks like and it works on most uh, skin types it's so good and the last one is this one which is called shameless and I love this it is so good let me show you ready <sighs> look at that it is so nice Oh, I love it so much. It's got like um, a black undertone with like jade green type um, colour as well and glitter. It's something really different. So those two, Amaze and Shameless, I really, really like out of the collection that I've got. I then have two highlighters of theirs and one is called Smoking Whistles, which is like this. I did actually drop it, but good thing with these is because of their formula, you literally just push the product back in and it just stays in nicely look it's so good um, so this one is called smoking whistles it's really really nice you just need the tiniest amount and it's going to go such a long way so be careful with their highlighters because they are like the shadows very pigmented and then we have spoon and this one again it dropped um, but again I packed it in um, but this one has more of um, like glitter particles in it whereas the other one had less and it's slightly sort of lighter in colour so in camera it looks pretty similar but when you actually apply them they are quite different so I do like both of them next we have their colour sort of lippy sticks and a lot of these are matte because I prefer my lap, my lap, my matte lip colours um, but some of them are satin etc but I'll go through them as and when I'm swatching them so firstly we have Contempo which is a matte one and did you see how creamy it is it glides on so nicely we then have Lumiere which is my favourite out of the lot that I have and again 
that's one swatch, one swipe, and look at the pigment and look at the colour payoff that you get in these. They are amazing. Trust me guys, you need to get some of these. Then it's Baywatch, which is another favourite of mine and very similar in colour to Lumiere, I would say, but just ever so slightly darker. So that's Lumiere and that's Baywatch. And then another matte one is Cookie, which is a gorgeous nude colour. Again, just as creamy, just as pigmented. And then the last matte one I have is called Oh Snap, which is this one. Now this one I found to be a bit more creamy in texture compared to the other matte ones um, and not as pigmented. It's still a gorgeous, gorgeous colour, but um, out of the other matte range, I didn't find it to be as pigmented. Now they all say matte, but they don't actually feel matte on the lips. They feel more satin, um, but they stay on such a long time. So they are really, really good. Um, but yeah, so these are the matte ones. Then I have one matte X one, which is supposed to be like a super matte one. And this is in the shade called Poppin, which ah, oh, I love so much. Look at this guys. It is so good. I love it, love it, love it so much. So the next one I have now is one of their cream or creme finishes and this is called Beth Hug and it's a nice red one, if I do it across here. Again, so smooth, so easily to apply and it stays on for such a long time and they feel so comfortable on the lips. The only downfall to these is the smell. I really, really hate the smell from these but... Um, the colour and the payoff and the longevity of these are amazing. The next one is a satin finish one and this one is called Button. Which again is like another nudie pink colour. And finally this one is Juice Bar and this is their one of their sheer range ones. And I'll just do that all across. So as the name suggests, it is a sheer one and it's the sheerest out of all of them that I've got. It feels more like um, a lipstick form of lip gloss, if that makes sense. It's not sticky like a lip gloss, but it is super shiny when you um, apply it on the lips. Um, if your lips are really dry, then maybe it won't feel the same, it'll just feel like lipstick. But um, it is a really nice colour overall, I would suggest. Okay, so now we're moving on to the liquid lipsticks and these are so, so good. I would say they compare with a lot of Kylie lip kit, uh, liquid lipsticks and even Stila. I really like Stila liquid lipsticks. They are one of the best formulas I've actually felt um, and that lasts such a long time. I haven't got all the colours, I've only got two or three I think, but the ones that I have are really, really good. Um, and these are on par with them, in my pre in my sort of feeling. Now, they do, each one pretty much has a different consistency. Some of them are more runny than others, but when they dry on the lips, they end up feeling the same once they're on. They do last such a long time. They are very drying, um, but a lot of liquid lipsticks are. Uh, so if you do have dry lips, just make sure you super like moisturise your lips before you apply these. Um, but when I've worn them, I just need to apply it once. I don't even need to top up the whole of the night. It's it just it, they just last forever. So anyway, let's move on to the swatches. This one is called Beeper. And this one is one of those that have more of a runny sort of formula, it's quite liquidy but it's so nice now it actually looks quite shiny and quite runny, quite watery when you first swatch it but when you when it dries on your lips within like 10 seconds it um, goes a lot darker in colour but it's super matte so don't worry when you first swatch it on your hands if you are testing it out they will dry matte we then have Times Square. This one isn't as like runny, doesn't have that much of a runny consistency. So I don't mind that because it's easier to apply. But another nude one, lighter than the Beeper colour. 
Then it's Magic Wand. I know a lot of these are quite similar, but the problem is that we have to, I buy them online and um, the pictures that are shown, the colours look quite different to when they actually arrive. Um, so I try to go for ones that are slightly different, but I do like my nudes and my pinky nudes and those types of colours. So I did try and get some within the similar range. Um, but what you will find is that when you swatch them and when you apply them on your lips, they do turn out different. So don't just rely on the colour that you see on the hand. When you apply it on your lips and once it's dried, it will be a different colour. Okay, then we have Barracuda, which is one of my newer ones that I've got. And this is a lot deeper, a lot darker. Uh, more of a ready sort of undertone compared to the other ones that I've got, but it's so nice. We then have Lion King. Which are these here? Kind of reminds me of that popping colour, but more deeper and more darker and then it's dopey which is one of the favorite colors in here of mine this one a little bit reminds me of um, ABH soft lilac um, but like anything when it does apply and dries it does look a little bit different but when swatching it kind of reminds me of that okay so four more to go this one is called More Better, which again is a really nice, deep, rich, reddy, purpley colour, or plummy type colour, which I like. Guys, can you see that swatch there, that line? I've tried to rub that three times and it's not budging. I mean, like, obviously the main colour's gone, but you can still see that bit that's left. Um, so they are super super like long wearing and lost long lasting so um yeah that is more better then my favorite favorite one out of the ones that i've got and this is lumiere 2 it is such a nice color i think for me for my skin type as well it works really well um obviously if you're lighter toned it will come out quite dark but it is such a nice colour. The lippy stick in Lumiere is amazing as well. So it's just pretty much the same, but this is in a liquid lip, uh, liquid lipstick form. Then we have Bad Habit. I know what you guys are thinking. That and that look very similar. Um, but as I said, like when you're online, you can't always tell what the colours are going to truly come out to be. They are slightly different and when you do wear them they do come out slightly different but I like them anyway. And finally we have Shimmy and this is another gorgeous sort of light colour and I use this colour um, for the centre of the lips just to give it more of an ombre effect or I mix it in with another colour to create my own so um, I do like this colour in that sense. For me I personally can't wear it because I feel it's too light. For my skin type but if you're a lot fairer this comes out really nicely and for the summertime if you put a bit of gloss on it oh, such a nice color so that is my ColourPop collection I actually thought I had a lot more but it could be that I might have got rid of some when I did like a declutter session only because I needed to create space in my kit and in my um, bag and the room that I keep the makeup in um, but if I do come across any more, I will definitely be snapping away. So if you guys are on Snapchat, do follow me. It's Benita, B-I-N-I-T-A underscore M-U-A. Um, so anything that I do get, I will be uh, Snapchatting. So you can uh, check it out there. Um, but otherwise, that is my video complete today. If you want to see any of my other collections as such or um, any other tutorials, anything at all, Please comment below and I'll try and get them done as soon as possible for you guys.